A field headland is a defined boundary within a field based off the outer boundary. This inner boundary can be one end of the field or both ends of the field or follow the field boundary for its entirety. The headland is typically where the vehicle turns and this defined point can be used to trigger action such as end of row turns and automatic shut off of application control. To use the headland function you will need to set up a headland user defined window on a run screen. To create a headland use the manage option in this window. The next option you will have is to define which boundary you want to create the headland for. Use the arrows left and right until the desired boundary is selected, then press select. Use the width option to define how wide your headland needs to be. There are three default options which are either one implement width, two implement widths or three implement widths from the boundary. The other option you have is to find a custom distance from the field boundary. The second option you have is to define what type of headland you require. Selecting single creates a headland at one end of the field. Selecting double allows you to create a headland for both ends of the field. Selecting all will create a headland for the entire way around the field. If creating either a single or double headland, you will need to define the inner and outer edge. The inner edge is represented as A1 and B1, whereas the outer edge, or field boundary, is defined between points A and B. Moving either of these points will alter the design of the headland boundary. There are two ways to move these points. First, select the active point you wish to move, then press the map screen where you wish to move this point to. The second way is to use the left and right arrows to move this point either clockwise or anti-clockwise along the boundary. Once the headland is created, you can use the manage button to edit the name, see information regarding the active headland, edit the current headland pattern, or create a new headland altogether. Once a headland is either created or selected from the list, the headland user-defined window will provide the options to disable and enable the headland. Setting headlands to on will indicate to the implement to observe the headlands. With this option enabled, you will have the ability to define whether you want the headland to operate in the inner or outer mode. Selecting outer means that product will be applied in the outer area of the headland and sections will be turned off when the implement passes across into the inner area of the field. Setting this option to inner means that the product will be applied to the infield and sections will be turned off as the implement passes out of the infield into the headland area. If using auto guidance and the field swath is selected, you will have the ability to choose the option auto or manual. Selecting auto mode will link the headland operations mode to the swath manager window. When interior is selected on the swath manager window, the headlands operation mode automatically changes to inner. When either square headland or round headland is selected in the swath manager window, the headland operation mode automatically changes to outer.